Let's get more on the people being prosecuted and what this process means for Cambodia. Gregory Stanton joins us from CNN Washington. He's president of Genocide Watch and director of the Cambodian Genocide Project. Gregory, welcome to the program. Now, first of all, let's just begin individually uh, with each of these people who are currently on trial. Let's start off with uh, Nguyen Chi, who is brother number two. That was what he was known as during the, uh, the time of the Khmer Rouge. What can you tell us about him? That's correct. Yes, Nguyen Che was really the architect of the, uh, the, the whole murder system. Um, he was one of the chief ideologists. Um, in fact, uh, the reports that uh, Doik uh, had, to, uh, uh, had to give were often um, initialed by Nguyen Che. So he was very well aware of uh, what was going on. And what's really more extraordinary is uh, he still denies that he uh, did anything wrong. He said it was all for the good of the country. Is he the main one here that the people are watching what happens to? I think that the others are just as important. Let's talk the about the are, foreign minister. The others are just as important. I, um, Q Sam Phan was really the chief ideologist. Uh, he was the one who wrote the PhD thesis in Paris that really kind of outlined the uh, future uh, for Cambodia you know, a uh, completely uh, agricultural communal state with, it wouldn't even have money. Uh, it's the only country in history that has abolished money. Um, we also, uh, and he denies the charges. He even wrote a book in which he, he, and he was head of state. So he, and he says at the end of the book, you may wonder, you know, why is it that as head of state, I didn't know that all this was happening? And of course, my response was, yes, I was in fact wondering just that. Uh, truth is, of course, it's, it was a lie. Uh, he was a member of the Central uh, Committee of the Communist Party of Cambodia. The third person, Yung Sari, was the Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs. Um, he um, came back to Cambodia, immediately uh, ordered or asked all Cambodians who were abroad to come home to help rebuild the country, and just as soon as they arrived, um, they were sent and they were executed. So he, in fact, also is one of the major mass murderers. His wife, Yang Sari, uh, his wife was uh, Yang Turit, um, and she was Minister of Social Affairs, so she was very much involved uh, also in the Central Committee of the Communist Party. She, by the way, has actually uh, directly accused Yuan Chea of uh, heading up the killing system. Uh, just as uh, Doik himself did. In other words, these uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, have essentially uh, uh, fashioned their own nooses. So these are the the four primary members of the Khmer Rouge that we're talking about. But you know, they're, they're certainly by no means the only Khmer Rouge cadres who are out there. And many want to see more trials actually happen after this. But Prime Minister Hun Sen says, no, this is it. The, this second trial of these four is going to be the final, the final trial. What is behind that thinking? Well, I think there are two things. First of all, these are very old people. Uh, they're 79, they're 85, they're 82. Um, most of the top leaders of the Khmer Rouge, um, you know, are very old. So it's going to take uh, a year or two to even try these people. So that's one aspect of this. Uh, it's an expensive trial. Um, so, you know, it's cost $100 million. How long can you keep going uh, with these kinds of trials? Now, there are, of course, uh, other people who could be charged in a third uh, trial. But one of the aspects also politically is that uh, Sue Met and um, uh, uh, Met Mia, who, are, who were formerly in the military, uh, the head of the Air Force and the head of the Navy, uh, came in in a peace agreement in 1998 uh, and have been reintegrated into the armed forces. They're retired now, but uh, the question is, you know, do you want to blow up that peace agreement and, and return the country to civil war? No, you don't. And I think that's one of the reasons why um, uh, the prime minister has made that kind of uh, pronouncement. Now, he doesn't have the decision-making authority, however, in this case. Um, he could pull Cambodia out of the tribunal, but I don't think he'll do it. Um, the judges will decide this. Um, in this case, the investigating judges decided that there was 
that, that, that these other two people um, weren't among the top people, and so that they shouldn't be put on trial. Gregory, I have no doubt that we shall uh, speak to you again as this process unfolds. For now, though, I thank you very much for your time. Gregory Stanton there. Thank you. Thank you.